Lola Sweet Hines, co-owner of Tropic Eye Living. Once again, talking about questions that you guys ask me all the time. So this is our segment of Ask Miss Loy on our Tropic Eye Living YouTube channel. I have two companions with me. You're like, wait a minute, where are they? I don't see anybody. Well, they're right here. I have Epsom salt and baking soda, which has become a staple in my life because of one of the life-changing experiences I had earlier this year. Um, I thought I had breast cancer. For those of you who don't know that, but my colleagues at my workplace who've been in the Tower Strength of Me knew that. And um, when I, they thought I had it, I called up Meadow Queen, who is my trusted mentor and advisor. You know, I called her a like mother um, to us all because she's an herbalist. I told her what was happening and then she said to me, Lloyd, what do you really think it is? Do you really think you have cancer? And I said, no, um, but I know something is there and I need to do something. So the doctors was telling me I need to go and do another invasive mammogram and Meadow Queen said, I'm going to send you something and then you can make up your mind and tell me what you want to do. This is what I love about her because she was telling me, get in tune with your inner self and listen to what your body is telling you. Your body does speak to you, ladies and gentlemen. It really does, okay? And you need to listen. So what she did, she gave me this lovely book that really and truly, I will say, any woman should have this book. I hope that you can see it. I'll put it up a little bit more further in the camera um, so you can see it. It is called Breast Cancer, Breast Health, The Wise Woman Way. So I read the book. And I decided that I'm going to take an, uh, a very unorthodox approach to finding out really and truly what this is. And one of the things that she told me to do is you need to take a pound of Epsom salt, a pound of baking soda, put it into your bath, soak for 20 minutes, then you need to get out and shower. Now when you shower, you are not going to shower with any other soap but a natural soap end of that story because remember now the body is the sorry the skin is the largest eliminator always as well as the largest receptor of toxins the epsom salt bath as well as the baking soda bath help to detoxify your body but what it is another lovely byproduct was i lost 10 pounds in one week doing this twice per day every day for three months but also I was juicing as well, and I hope you get a chance to take a look at uh, my juicing segment, the staples that I use, minus the papaya. But that's what I did for three months. And I also used a breast uh, pack, which was uh, baking soda, but I'll talk about that later. And when I went back to the doctor and did what I had to do, I will tell you what happened in the breast health uh, segment which we're going to be airing pretty soon and the end result and you're going to be amazed so for women who are out there who are struggling with is this cancer or breast cancer or not there are many ways to find out I chose not to do a mammogram I did breast tomography and I also did an ultrasound because mammograms unfortunately they do give us a low dose of radiation and I was not if this was cancer I said to myself oh heck no when it comes to your health, stand up for yourself. You are your best doctor. I knew exactly what was happening in my body. I knew it was not cancer and I found my path. And believe it or not, to this very day, I still do my baking soda as well as my Epsom salt bath. But I cut it down to now once per day when I, in the nights when my daughter comes in and walks and wants to have a little chit chat with me and that's her quality time. So women, as well as men, do suffer from detoxification problems. You know, this is one beautiful remedy that you can use to do that. Look up, look it up, do your studies and make up your mind if this is for you. I hope I help. Thank you and see you again. Thanks for inviting me into your home. But one of the things that uh, I want to share with you today, because of my breast cancer scare, a lot of people are asking me what did I do and what did I juice while I was going through this, you know, trying and challenging times. But I will share with you my journey as we go along doing all these YouTube videos.